Libras, it looks like you have some type of solid and stable offer coming in. Could be coming in from an earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But make sure that this offer isn't too good to be true here with this Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We are in Cancer season. This being a card of having many options to choose from, but being aware of the illusion and deception. Middle of the reading here, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse and this Ten of Coins. Could be a somebody <laughs> making you a solid and stable, sta solid and stable offer, but the, it's, there's a lack of commitment here. It's not all that it seems. We got some secrets, some hidden things. We got Scorpio Pisces on the board. Cancer energy. Libras, before we get into this, do me a favor. Tap in, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video. I upload almost daily, so hit the notification bell because you won't want to miss a thing. Make sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement videos for a deeper look at your situation. Be a cross watcher, see what's going on with your person. I'm available for personal readings. That information is down below in the description box. Find me on Instagram and Libra family. Let's get into this offer that is coming your way. Though in your past readings, in the recent past, this past two, three days that I've been uploading, money's been at the forefront, new opportunities. You've been putting in a lot, putting in a lot of work and getting recognized for those things. This is that with this Knight of Coins, but you have lots of offers coming towards you with this 10 of Wands here. Lots of offers to go through. And some of you are even tempted to just take the thing that's the first thing that looks good. Don't do that. Don't do that. That would be a mistake. That would be a crucial misstep to take the first thing that comes your way. Again, this Knight of Coins is a slow moving night. Solid and stable, but it's the slowest moving. This is something that you're, you've been waiting on. So these offers that are coming while they look nice with this Queen of Wands energy while they they're vibrating on your level this it ain't the offer and be sure that somebody's not breadcrumbing you bringing you the solid and stable offer and trying to keep you as a side piece here maybe that's the heavy burden Ooh. maybe they're saying it's it, it, <laughs> their spirit is heavy when they're around you because they're because there's something else going on the queen of wands is somebody who gets things together somebody who's focused on their work attractive and is, is attracting a lot of things to them but this is also the card of a mistress and we see this illusion and deception here we see this three of cups and we see this hangman pisces energy which speaks to somebody being bored somebody being stagnant and engaging in these third parties or wanting to celebrate or reunite come together with somebody need, needing attention but this is also a card of changing your perspective and gaining, excuse me, and gaining clarity on a situation, seeing things for what they truly are. The chariot cancer energy is clarified by this page of cups, more water energy. This being a card of an apology coming in, love messages, or somebody coming in to present you with some type of offer here, a new offer, a new opportunity, an emotional opportunity. So this is either something you've really been working on, Lib uh, Libras. Or this is a new lover coming in, full force ahead, offering you something solid and stable, but there's something missing with this Ace of Cups and this Ten of Coins, a lack of commitment. Maybe this person doesn't have time to spend with you. Maybe that's why things are slow. Or maybe it's just because while they're trying to come on to you hot and heavy, they're really not emotionally into you. This may be somebody, Libra, that's just here for a good time, not a long time here with this High Priestess here in the reverse. This is Pisces, Scorpio, energy, that water. They just may be wanting to, you know, get wet and wild and keep it moving here. We see the five of wands underneath this high priestess, the keeper of the secrets, hidden knowledge, but also, again, using your intuition. And we see the five of wands. Some of y'all know that something's not right here, that things aren't balanced or things aren't quite adding up with this offer that's being presented to you or some of these offers, right? What's underneath this seven of cups? The nine of wands here in the reverse. This is somebody who's coming in and there's a lot of chaos and conflict around them, but they want you to... Let your guard down. There's somebody who's trying to prey on you. Hoping that you have your guard down or that you're ignorant or naive. Hoping to have this. Listen, they're preying on you. And there's a tower moment that's coming to expose this. The chaos, the conflict and confusion, the secrets here. Again, confusion with this two of swords. It's going to clear all this up. This two of swords being in the reverse. Right. There's going to be a tower moment that exposes something that's too good to be true. So again. Do not be quick to rush into any commitments. Make sure you're reading the fine print. Make sure you're asking people questions. The four of swords here. Your energy, Libra, 
This is all about sleeping on things, taking a rest, taking a break, thinking about it from several different angles before you make a decision or speak on this. The magician, more air energy, Gemini, Aries. This is a card of manifestation, as well as you having all the tools necessary to be successful in any given situation. This is you being on the up and up. This is you keeping a close eye on your finances, on your paperwork, and anybody coming your way trying to offer you something. You're not one to be played with here. The eight of wands here in the reverse. This is a situation where somebody's coming in and they're offering you something, but it's not going to move you in the direction that you think it is. It may not move you at all. It may be keeping you stuck and stagnant. It may be a three-way deal that ain't no good for you. We see contracts here with the hair font or marriage. Again, a love offer or business work opportunity that's too good to be true. The emperor here, Aries energy. This being a king. Could be a masculine person, but this is a boss. Could be a business partnership deal. A leader, a husband, a father figure for some. But this speaks to ego and control. Being in control of your ego and being in control of what you got going on here. And with this being clar clarifying the chariot and this page of cups, these new opportunities, you are in control of what you have going on right here. So make sure that you, again, you're being careful, not falling for any nonsense here. Being careful and patient with the temperance card. Big Sagittarius energy here with the temperance card. Making sure everything's all adding up. Again, researching, reading that fine print. Double, triple checking what people have to say, what they're all about here. The two of cups, because you are not going to be fooled. You are not going to be roped in, tied in, locked into any situations, friendship, business, partnership, love or otherwise that are not serving you. Where the offer is one sided with this two of cups here in the reverse. No, no. The death card here, big Scorpio energy clarifying this three of cups and the hangman. This third party situation. Or things getting complicated here just because somebody's bored, they need something to do, or changing your perspective on things. You've changed, um, Libra. You're going through changes and you're not allowing certain nonsense to get close to you. And this may even be a situation where you're separating yourself from people and maybe even certain things. Maybe you're taking a break from drinking because you're focused on work. Maybe you're taking a break from hanging out with people with this Four of Cups. Again, the drinking, the celebrating, the parties, partying here because you're focused on the next level, the next big thing for you another four here with the four of wands in the reverse and the two of wands in the reverse the four of wands is a card is a relationship card whether it's getting together or breaking up we see breaking up here and the two of wands needing to make a choice about where it is that you're going some of you are going to be presented with an offer to stay exactly where it is that you're at and that is not the offer for you. Big Libra energy here with the justice card. You showing up. This right here is too comfortable for you staying close to home. With this four of wands, two of spears here. Or this may be somebody presenting you with an offer for love or companionship or whatever. And they're too like what you're used to. This is you getting out of your comfort zone with the justice card here and the five of coins, baby. This is you getting out of your comfort zone, doing something different here, right? Abandoning what is safe and comfortable to invest in something different. Now, while this is a card, this five of coins, Taurus energy, of an abandonment, of a trail, the rug being pulled out from underneath somebody, this is you breaking out of something that is uncomfortable for you. This is you pulling the rug out from underneath yourself and taking a risk, taking a gamble, Libra, and walking away from people, place, and things that are no longer serving you. This is you making power moves here. Empress energy, Taurus, and Libra vibes. Standing in your power, not taking less than what you deserve. And again, these eights bringing balance to these scales here. Where's my Ned Stark at? Bringing balance to these scales, walking away from things, walking in your power here. And focusing on your stability and abundance with this King of Coins. It's been money on the brain for y'all of y'all. Y'all are single. It's focusing on your work, your career, your school. Your goals here with this Nine of Coins. Securing the bag, chasing the bag, and turning 
that small period you had of bad luck completely around with this wheel of fortune here in the reverse and this king of cups these blessings coming in you staying emotionally in your bag not coming out of it and let people provoke you or get getting caught up in these situations super analyzing things again that king of swords that libra that highly intellectual thinking outside of the box energy all these offers coming into you love work finances and it's only up from here if it's up then it's stuck libra and right now it's up this page of coins, not accepting anything less or smaller than what it is that you deserve with this page of coins, not committing to that. The hermit, maybe some of you are on that Virgo, Libra cusp, tap in, drop your birthdays down below Libras. But this is you separating yourself to prepare for this offer, these offers, these blessings that are being presented to you because you don't want to miss out on a damn thing. You want to be prepared. Practice makes for perfect preparation. Understand. This is, this is prep season. This is practice. This is you getting yourself ready for these new opportunities here and not missing out. Queen of Swords. Gemini Aquarius energy, Libra. This is setting boundaries. Giving ultimatums here. Calling the shots. It's your way or no way. You being back into this emperor mode here, fully in control of what is going on here. And people are going to regret sleeping on you. That they didn't give you certain opportunities. That they didn't that they didn't believe in you, Libra. They were sleeping on you, not and while you were having hope and having faith, pushing on here. They were just talking trash. Libra energy here with the King of Swords here in the reverse. They were planning on your downfall, gassing you up, and talking behind your, your talking about you behind your back. Mm -mm, you saw it all. Page of Swords here in the Knight of Wands, and then the turnaround. Then here you come, victorious, looking good, feeling good. Everybody's acknowledging the hard work that you've put in. Leo energy here with the strength card. And, and that's the thing. Now they can't beat you, so they have to join you with the strength card here in the reverse. All these cowards watching from a distance, seeing you make moves here, traveling, making money, making moves, living a great life here. While they're still fighting with each other, you're not fighting over a, a damn thing because all these blessings are coming towards you. Again, Ace of Pentacles here. Blessings coming in, new opportunities, money coming in. There's too much money on the floor, Libra. Libra, drop your big three sun, moon, and rising down below. This person sign, these new opportunities that are coming. Please hit the like button and subscribe. It helps, it helps my channel so much. I upload almost daily, so hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placement videos for a deeper look at your situation. Reach out to me for a personal reading. That information is down below in the description box. Find me on Instagram. And Libra family, I will be checking in on you soon. Keep it real.